What is up guys, it's Simon from pianopig.com and in this video I'm going to show you the most delicious sounding chordal pan that you can use in your gospel playing, as well as jazz and neo soul and all of that good stuff. Just before we get stuck in, in case you didn't already know, I have a membership website with loads of content, live Q&A calls, direct support from me and all sorts of other goodies. So if you enjoy my content here, then I really encourage you to go and check it out and maybe even become a member today. You can find all the details over at pianopig.com. So let's do it. So this is the pattern we're going to be working with today. So take it out of context, and this is what we've got. So this pattern essentially stays within one chord, in this case a C minor. We're using notes from the C natural minor scale. This pattern also makes heavy use of what we call chordal chords, which are essentially chords that are stacked in fourths. So if we were to build a three note chordal chord from the note C, we would have C at the bottom, we would stack a fourth above, which would be an F, and stack another fourth on the top of this, B flat. And that is a three note chordal chord built from C. So what we need to do in order to create this pattern is play four of these chords. So if we're in the key of C minor, we need to play a three note chordal chord, like we just played, starting on the fifth, the fourth, the second, and then the root note. So that's five, four, two, one. So let's break that down a little bit. We start on the fifth, so stack a fourth above that, and another one above that, and that's our three note chord starting on the fifth. Then we need to do the same thing starting on the fourth. And again on the second. And one more time on the root note. Just like we played earlier. Put that all together and you get this. So you could just stop there and use that as it is. That pattern and those concepts of chordal voicings alone will add a huge amount to your playing. But there's one more thing I like to add, which I think adds a whole new layer of butter to the whole thing. And that is to add a third below each chord. So this is what we had. And this is with that extra third on the bottom. So what do I actually mean by adding an extra third below each chord? Well, let's start with our first chord. We look at the bottom note, which is the fifth of C minor, and we stack a third below it. So remember that we're in the key of C minor. A third below the note G would be an E flat, a major third in this case. So this interval here is a major third. Moving on to our second chord, our bottom note is an F, and a third below this in the key of C minor would be a D. So this time it's a minor third. And if you're confused about whether or not it should be a major or minor third, you can quickly see all the thirds within C minor by playing the scale like this. So we can see that since the bottom note of our chordal chords are 5, 4, 2, and 1, the thirds below are going to be this.
And if we put that together with our chordal chords, we get the finished product. So to finish this lesson, I just want to really quickly construct this pattern again in the key of G minor. So the bottom note of our chordal chords are going to be five, four, two, and one. If we stack fourths on the top of each of these notes to get a three note chordal chord, we get this. And if we then add a third below each of these, staying in the key of G minor, we get this. And that's pretty much it. This is a really versatile pattern that if you play around with enough, you will find it can be integrated into so many different situations, such as comping, improvising, composing. So I encourage you to try it out, see where it fits, and use it to add an extra something to your gospel playing. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, definitely make sure you've smashed that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.